This video is going to show you how you can um, use Schoology to and Google Documents to an assign an assignment to students. So you'd use this for a couple different ways. First, you'd use it if you had a Google Doc that um, you'd want, like you're using it as a worksheet and you want students to make a copy of it. And then um, they can fill it out and share it back with you, the completed one. Or if you, it was a collaborative document that the that students were working on um, together. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose the course that we're working with. So I'm going to go to my math skills section one course. And from my add materials, I'm going to go to add an assignment. From here, I'm going to name my assignment. What I'm also going to do is put a description, and this is where you put the, um, this is where you want to put um, the directions for what they want to do. So in this case, because you're using Google Docs, you want to make sure that if you want them to make a copy of it, that you put that in. Um, you also need to put the link to the Google Doc that you're sharing in there. Um, and you'll also, if you want them to turn it in, you'll have to put directions for that. So for this one, um, So I'm going to ask them to make a copy of the vocabulary sheet and fill in the definitions. Now I need to put the link to the worksheet. So I'm going to have to go to my Google Drive account. Um, and I have, normally what I do is I usually just already have my tab on my Google Drive up already so that it's already set to go. So I'm just going to click on my, my Google Drive. And if you don't already have it set to share, find the document that you want to share. So this is the document that I'm going to share. I'm going to check the box and hit share and I'll get my link up there. So I'm going to copy that. I can copy it one of two ways. I can right click on it and click copy or if you use shortcuts you can do control C. Then I'm going to go back to my Schoology tab and because I'm inserting a link up here in the description toolbar, I'm going to go to insert content. From there, I'm inserting a link, so I'm going to fill that in. And just put what it is, and I'm going to click insert. Then, I also want to put in um, descriptions for what I want them to do to turn it in because I want them um, they can share it to me through Google Drive but um, what I would also like them to do in this case is I want them to sh to post their link through the Dropbox in Schoology and the reason that I want them to do that is because then Schoology will keep track for me of who's turned it in and who hasn't turned it in, um, which Google Drive won't. I would have to go into Google Drive and kind of check off who, who turned it in and who didn't, and I would have to go back as there were changes to see who's turned it in and who hasn't turned it in. And, um, and so I want them to turn their link into the Dropbox, so I'm going to put directions to do that. And then I also put a little reminder, just making sure that um, they have that those sharing permissions. Because if they share the link with me, but they don't, they haven't gone in and actually shared it with me. Um, either they can just click and put my email address directly, or they can um, 
or they can choose to um, put it so that um, they could share through a link. I just want to make sure that they have some way so that I can see it. Then I'm going to choose a due date. And down here at the bottom, you want to make sure that this little icon for submissions enabled is set so that if students turn it in. They can continue to turn it in when it's when everybody's turned it in or I, I want to stop um, collecting submissions. Um, if it's before the due date, then I click that. I just want to make sure that it's visible to students if I want it right now or I can turn it off if it's if I want to turn it on a little bit later, but then I'm going to click create. And now that assignment, the mass vo vocabulary assignment is set for all students. Um, check out the video on the student view of assignments using Google Docs if you want to see what it looks like for your student as they're completing an assignment using Google Docs and turning it into Schoology.